Hi, welcome friends. Uh, welcome to another video of uh, Python data analysis. So in this video, I will be discussing about uh, how to plot the data that you have by using the help of matplotlib. Matplotlib has a lot of Python libraries uh, that work like uh, MATLAB. And it, you can visualize uh, the, the data that you have uh, by using Python libraries. Okay, we'll see what are the basic things that we'll be covering in this tutorial. So you'll be you know discussing how to draw a simple line plot and you can also uh, draw a bar plot and scatter plot as well and you can see the pie chart also like the data how to draw the data in pie plot and how to draw multiple plots in a single figure like in a sing across multiple uh, axis like x y and y axis you can have multiple subplots in a plot and finally you know how to export the or save that uh, plot as a figure or a picture like a png or a jpeg okay so before going to how to draw a plot uh, basically a figure has uh, y axis uh, y axis and x axis and these are the called minor ticks this is this is called major ticks. This uh, these lines are major ticks, and this is the title where the title goes. And here the lesson that you have, like this is my line, blue color. This is the red color. What does it mean? Like the lesson, you can put any color, like place it here, 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 anywhere, the placement. And uh, I think this should help. Uh, and this is the title of the figure, like the anatomy. So I think all this you can uh, uh, define a figure. So let's uh, without delay let's go to the Jupyter notebook that I have created for you. So we'll do some hands on over there. So okay, so we we need to just import only one line here. Import matplot pi plot matplot pi plot. Uh, as you can just this alias name uh, PL, plt that we will be using across. This is the object you can call it. So okay let's run it object is initialized and we'll see this is for the x-axis and y-axis values x values like uh, 1 to 10 and y values are some random values so we'll see these are the values that we have initialized into two list okay how to do that this is the plot that you'll be using here that the uh, object object dot plot we need x values simple y values and finally you want to uh, see the uh, graph you can just uh, do plot dot show with these two lines it's very simple we can draw a plot let's see okay as you can see this is the line plot that you have default is the line plot that we have here is the y axis and here is the x axis so this is a simple plot we have not defined anything like uh, what is the value x axis value or title this and everything we will be discussing in further so if you want to do a bar plot you can just do instead of plot you can explicitly mention as plot dot bar and you can do the same thing nothing have changed so you can just do a bar plot here as you can see this is the bar plot Similarly for scatter you can just do a scatter plot you can see the scatter it, it's dotted so it is helpful for you know like clustering if you want to cluster k-min clustering or something you can cluster uh, visualize with dots instead of line or bar okay so these are the three things and we'll be seeing in the in, in down we'll see how to do a pi plot okay so not only uh, only x or y you can have multiple uh, y values multiple x values also like uh, multiple horizontal axis so let's uh, we'll be focusing on multiple y values with the same x values you can just do this plot dot plot x value x y values and then here y value y1 values y2 value because we have defined three such records we'll see how does it look like yeah you can see we have three such line plots so we don't know which one is uh, y1 which one is y2 so let's uh, do a little bit of uh, like decoration we can 
we can define the size of the plot like uh, the size will be 20 by 10 you can call as inch size in inches here the plot we can give a label because here here the label was missing you can add a label level equal to something like y values and here i'll be giving a different like other than level i can give the line style if you want to change the line style to simple line as dash line you can give like this also there is another way you can give a uh, label and you can add for y2 let's suppose we can add uh, the line color as green we can add as green instead of marker like dot oh, we'll see we'll uh, and the line style is uh, dashed and where is the point that is instead of dot you can add i'll say carrot sign and the marker size is 12 this is the marker size it will be 12. so this is another way of uh, you know shortcut is like you can give r o hyphen r means red o means uh, the marker size and hyphen means the dashed line and this is the level that you can y3 value so for adding x level you can uh, add x axis like it will be saying here uh, x axis name should be x axis the so y level should be y axis and the title title should come up in the top top like the suitable title you can add some any any context and legend the legend also you can add simple legend or if you want to find the location of the legend where you want to add whether this corner or this corner or middle like that you can add something like upper left so i'll be referring upper left means here and the right left or you can choose any other uh, combinations like lower center or upper the first one and the second one is like left center or right you can choose any combination and this is the line that you can save your uh, plot this is the plot save figure you can give a suitable name and what is the dpa the pixel level that is 80. so then you want to see the grade grade is a true and this so so with this i have uh, so many combinations uh, so that you can uh, decorate your uh, plot with proper meaning let's run it see you can see so we have the lessons upper left i have given upper left is the legend these are the line y value y2 value so we'll see the carrot like this is a triangle this is the green symbol green color carrot and dash line as you can see carrot dash line triangle and green this is for y2 this is for y2 and the other one is red red is dotted let's see where is red we have explicitly mentioned here red o o is the dotted line and dash this is not dash this is continuous dash is for double hyphen so that is the default value that we are uh, getting it here in the y1 we have given task it is uh, dynamically picking a color because i have not defined it okay so this way you can decorate your plot now it looks complete like we have a y-axis we have a x-axis and we have a suitable plot title with less end with the position and the different color with styles or with uh, like uh, dot or triangle so okay now it is a complete uh, plot so now go to the pi plot so for pi plot uh, let's define another dictionary like uh, car these are the cars like bmw how many number of count number of sales like 300 car uh, say you know sold out in a week in Ren renault 250 audi 100 like that so these are the key these are the values so for drawing a pie plot this should be the keys you can let's capture the car names as cars dot keys like this way or car values like car dot values and this way so i'll come to this one later what is the explode means so in so if you just do figure plot dot figure and you will get the object that object you can just set the assignment like the size if you want to change like 12 or 8 12 inch by like y axis by x axis like that one. x axis by y axis this is by like horizontal this is uh, vertical pi dot plot this is the values you have and explode labels means the car name that you want percentage it will take the percentage label because uh, you want to show that in percentage instead of values because uh, the 
pi is 100% and how many number of distribution that you have for each cars shadow to star triangle 90 degree so let's draw it and we will see how to, okay so star triangle is 90 so that triangle is 90 degree like this way and this explode explode means the second element I am exploding by 0 0.5 0 0.5 means this is the 0.5 if you consider this one as 1 so this one should be the 0 0.5 this is exploded the second element means the reno reno is exploded if you want to highlight a particular uh, record that you can explode it otherwise if you make it 0 or if you want to let's suppose you want to highlight uh, BMW not BMW you go to Skoda 1 2 3 four, the last but one record so let's export that with some value 0.4 and run it so here Skoda also got exploded like it come out from the pie that slice came out <coughs> okay that way you can just uh, decorate your pie plot Percentage wise, uh, it is like uh, only 0.1. So, if you want to second decimal, you can uh, let's try that. Oh, sorry, this is not 11 decimal point, 0.2 decimal point. Yes, point. that it, you can adjust the decimal point also. And this way, also you can save uh, with the DPI the uh, pixel level. So, that is the pie plot. Now, we'll go to the subplot like. Uh, plotting multiple types of plot in a single uh, figure so we'll just say, set the figure size here the sub uh, subtitle we can give the title and the space like each space like uh, horizontal and width axis and uh, height and width how many space you want to add for a particular uh, for particular uh, between particular plots so let's run it and we'll explain it here so like this is the space uh, like width and height how much uh, space you are you want to give and okay now in order to plot like uh, two by two means this is two two number of records in a row and two number of columns then two by two so subplot two by two what is the first index I will set the first index and give a title what um, what is the title is here and what is the uh, plot that you want to you would like to plot that is the pie plot that you can give pie plot that you have already defined it here that this is the line you can draw a pie plot the same line you can just copy it here similarly for the second plot this is the plot like 2 by 2 and the second this is the second element you can give a title and you can plot multiple pl plots just like we have uh, done it for here the same figure directly you can paste it here same code number of codes so whatever the plot that will go to this id like 2.2 and the second one similarly the third means the scatter plot this is the line you have to draw a scatter plot and for fourth one i would like to draw a bar plot so i will just do the bar plot so yeah, there you go and finally everything will be plotted in a single figure so, so you can uh, finally you can export that with a uh, suitable name and there you go i think we are done so in this video we have learned how to draw a uh, simple line plot pie plot scatter plot and bar plot along with the uh, different uh, x axis y axis with the lesion values and uh, and we can just uh, accumulate all the plots in a single uh, figure like subplots multiple subplots in a single figure and you can export that to excel okay thank you guys i have uh, uploaded that to my github uh, channel so in the description below i'll be giving that link so that you can directly use that code of your own thank you and stay tuned for upcoming videos uh, bye bye see you